What do you got for us? All right, so we got a 74-year-old uh, male. We have recently begun to use medical devices that have the ability to connect or talk to other devices or computers. Okay, ready on three, one, two, three. Whenever we do that, it's usually for the purposes of improving patient care so that doctors can more closely monitor them or download additional information. I was watching TV at home and I started feeling this shocking pain in my chest. But because those devices are connected, it renders them susceptible to the same types of threats that you might have from your phone or computer with respect to hackers. Okay, because I think oh. it's not working still. So a pacemaker is a device that we use when a patient has heart disease, specifically disease that affects the electrical conducting system of the heart. While we don't know of specific examples of where pacemakers have been hacked, the research that has been done that has revealed vulnerabilities has led several companies to issuing software updates or patches to their pacemakers in order to protect against some of these vulnerabilities. I don't have a product. Right, no, it is a well-known fact that Dick Cheney's cardiologists actually deactivated the wireless functionality on his pacemaker due to some of these same security concerns. That's charging. Cybersecurity threats in healthcare are very real and they are happening. We just haven't identified specific examples of that in the device population. And that may in fact be because we're not really looking for them to. If someone comes in with a compromised device and something bad happens to them, do people afterwards even know to look for a compromised device? I'm sorry. We don't want to paint that the risk of these uh, attacks, which is very rare and small, uh, outweighs the benefits of these type of devices. He's really need to get that heart rate up. These pacemakers are incredible pieces of technology and they allow patients to live full and healthy lives. So we feel that this is no different than learning about new diseases or new medications or new surgical techniques. Everybody who's here at the summit today, including physicians, hackers, the FDA, device manufacturers, we all believe this is a real risk. So we all feel very strongly that it's something worth learning about.